Fair. It was understandable. Yeah. Fair. Makes sense. See you, Dibs. Thanks for coming. We missed you. Kino versus Cameron. Let's see it. <laughs> okay. Pikachu Libre. Por que Utah usar Pikachu Libre? Bellsworth 46. <laughs> 46. <laughs> 46, 46. <laughs> All right, nice job getting the slam. Gets the stun off. A second one, yeah, not going to connect. <gasps> Big boy! <Ow. laughs> <laughs> All right, just a lot of projectile play. He's got to find his way in. He does manage to get it. Tick yep. grab. And gets a charge off on himself. Here comes the swing. He gets the CADC. Why rode him there? He can't do anything off of that. Yep. I'm really confused why he decided to jump after that. He could have done yeah. something like sand attack afterwards or something. Yeah, he could have kept stuck to the ground. Doesn't get the punish off. Well, <laughs> what's interesting is right now, Storm's not playing Chandler like he normally does. Well, Storm can't, one, he can't afford to big boy. Okay, that's definitely going to miss. Yeah. But he couldn't afford to big boy right there. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not saying that. Like, it's just in general. He's being a little more, he feels like he's being more aggressive this game. <laughs> Wow, wow, that, that hitbox. <laughs> what are hitboxes? Okay, defense debuff. 12 seconds left on the clock. He's got to get some chip in. Oh, okay. Yeah. There ah. it is. All right, Utah going to take round one. Yeah. Like, he, I feel like he's taking risks that he doesn't need to. Like what? Well, he, he's being a lot more, like, I, and I know part of it is uh, Utah getting close quick. Uh, but it feels like Storm's just kind of being a little more in his face, aggressive, mm -hmm. versus his, I'm trying to get back in a way as much as possible. Now, we do have a defense debuff on Utah right now. Yep. He but does sand, sand attack. attack. Shuts that out. All right, a little bit of damage. Not bad. Yep. <laughs> trying to find some way to hit him. He does try for the Rotom. Great Betrayer does actually decide to go <laughs> off this time. Great Betrayer. <laughs> All right. Tries the anti-air. Not going to work out for him this time. Double bu debuffs are on. Big Boy comes wow. out. Still not going to oh, kill, though. He didn't have the debuff, the defense down at the time. But we're, we're going to see Storm just kind of try to pay place, play wow. patient here. This is not going to nope, He's going to hang up in the air, but it puts Storm in a really bad position. He had to come down there. I feel like he could have swung first to mix up when he came down. Mm -hmm. All right, minimize right in the burst. Utah is definitely going to shield this. Oh my gosh, double buffs. Oh. What has happened? Oh. I don't know, <laughs> but Storm just... just needs to back off here. Yeah, and he does that right now. 13 seconds left on the clock. Rotom's out. There it is. Yep. Great Betrayer going to work again. Sand attack in the air, though. Five. <laughs> Oh my goodness. 32 HP, three seconds left on the clock. Oh. You just counter there. <laughs> just counter there. You're talking to take game number one. I saw Kyle was going to push a button there. You saw it in your mind's eye. I, I saw it coming. <laughs> That's a situation where Kyle had to do something. It's a shame you didn't, you weren't fighting him right then. Yeah. Because you would have gotten. <laughs> I would have, I, no. That, in that situation, he had to do something. Um, his only two options were wild charge or something something like that where he had a range option. He was too far back to be able to do anything else. Utah does have him against the wall. Already about a quarter of, of Storm's health is gone. Definitely now a quarter. <laughs> yep. Utah getting changed for the bus ride home. <laughs> Bringing it on hard onto Storm right now. Honestly, I think if Storm had even just shielded that end there, he would have survived. I don't know how much chip it would have done. <laughs> <laughs> Rotom coming out here. Can it? Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. Neutral damage. Yep. Still do decent. Still decent minutes, but he does lose that attack down on it. So. Yeah. Not Shaba. Not so Shaba. Storm in a really tough position right now. He's got to find some way 
to snuff out Utah. Big boy, nah, not gonna was, connect. No. As a fellow Lucky Mouse user, we have no chill. <laughs> <laughs> no. No Pikachu chills ever. I mean, we can see Storm right now. He's like, I wish I could go Shadow Me. <laughs> yeah. Now he sure. does. He does have a Chandelure, but he hasn't definitely... really worked out, worked it in quite a while. Yeah. So I mean, it's pretty rusty. Big boy, not enough catching the vulnerable frames. Yep. Okay, little crit. Not enough though. No. But now he's just kind of sitting back. Big boy? Yep, there it is. Yeah. Beautiful big boy. Gotta get himself the speed buff. So he moves at neutral now. Has room for a little boy. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think about it. I was like, hmm. No. <laughs> he has room for a little boy, huh? <laughs> no, that, that didn't sound good. <laughs> All right, so burst coming out for both players. Nothing yep. happening just yet. He does get oh. the stun off. Ooh, oh. gets the burst. Catches him. catch, okay. But this is not going to do nearly as much. Mm, yeah. With the with the with the uh, synergy buff, yeah, yeah, very very close That's, though. If, if he, he didn't have that synergy buff, he would have won. Yeah, he was definitely he was definitely dead. Candle pop coming out nice and hot. Storm's gonna take round two. All right, so what does Storm have to keep doing in order to get this momentum, get the next round? Um, uh, well, really? Game? Honestly, he needs to just kind of keep playing how he is. Um, uh, respect Utah's options to get in. But punish him whenever he attempts them. Oh, this is going to be some big danyo. Yeah, defense down on the grab there. If he had had the attack down as well, that would have been oh, fantastic. Oh, that disgusting. Um, All right, this is smart. He's setting up the wall. Not going to allow yep. Utah to get in like he wants to. Like I said, he's got, he respect Utah's options to get in, but expect them and punish them. Yeah, we do see now that he does have this VD buff on him right now. There we go. But it's not the it's not the attack no. down, so it's still gonna do pretty good damage. Yeah. All right, support's coming out from yep. both and we players. We got Pokekiss getting rid of that speed down, basically. Yeah, making him neutral, which is good. We do have burst online for Utah. We might see it here. The sneeze is gonna come out though. That's yep. gonna be big. And burst gonna get him out of that hex. Gets a swing up. No oh, follow up nope. though. Uh, did it too early. Oh, he catches him. Gets the swing. Oh, he wasn't expecting the wall splat there. Oh no. Utah ready for that. That's gonna hurt. No, not gonna connect though. Wow. 17 seconds left on the clock. Can't storm time him out. He has him against the wall. Oh no. Oh, Utah not knowing his combos there. Oh, he gets the swing. Candle pop. Oh. Four Fourth. seconds left on the clock. Big boy, not enough. No. Utah gonna take game number two. Storm. Red armor. Not going to be enough to save him in that it's, situation. Well, what would you have gone for? Counter. But you. The see, reason why? Red armor there, um, you still take your damage. Right, which is why. Which in that is why he died there. Yeah, Utah won that. He had, he had either, either just shield and just shield and hope you can get that last moment mix up. Or, because the chances of Utah going for any grab there were so slim. In my opinion, yeah, uh, that <coughs> it's a super risky option. It was a, no matter what, it was a 50 50. Big boy coming out, he does get a little bit of damage off. Double debuffs on to Storm right now. That was that was good solid uh, follow up. I like it, yeah. But now we got Utah all the way on the other side of the screen, running in and clearing two thirds of the screen in a single run in. Nice anti air, he's gonna get the follow up. Now, these debuffs have been on Storm for a while. That's just going to refresh that speed debuff on him. Yeah. All right. A little bit of spaghetti here. Oh, Rotom does come out. Yep. Nice homing. If this is the good cat. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful homing. Ooh, we get cross. Yep. Yep. No sneeze. No. Nope. Anti-air coming out once again. Utah capitalizing a lot on those. Yeah. And you can see that... Storm has not practiced his Chandelure combos a lot. Well, um, yeah, he's really been focusing more on Shadow Mewtwo. Yep. 
Which is understandable. Which I swear every other week he goes, I'm done with that on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new week. <laughs> Big boy! Gonna do it for Storm! Putting himself on the board for the first round this time around. Yep. You know, normally Utah's been taking that, so he's got to, he's, he's getting the momentum. Can right. he keep it up? Exactly. A little, little bit of laser play. Some sneeze action. Nice job. Ooh. Okay, a little bit back away. That was pretty smart from Storm. Yep. I, I the back up a little bit mixed up his distance, which messed up Utah's attack and gave Storm the opportunity. Right, and Utah could have normally anti -air. He's been noticing that Storm's been doing that, so that was right. really smart. Back off, maybe get himself a good option. Nice laser, gonna push him back once again. Yep, and now he's got he's got the field phase. Utah's gonna try to race in as much as he can. Storm's gonna try to keep him out as much as possible. And see, like just like that, you respect the options to get in. And you find a way to get around them. A lot of candle pops coming out from Storm. First, and Jirachi buff are going to come out right now. Togekiss also going to come out. Oh, oh, I'm not sure what he was going for right there. Yeah. This is definitely going to be a shoot. Oh, he gets hit. What? But the synergy buff is still on Utah. Yeah. This is great because it's going to take it away. But it's I, not going to do as much. No. I'm just interested in why Utah didn't expect that. Well, oh, Disco, Disco. He gave him the Disco. Oh, I love that. I haven't seen it in forever. Because it doesn't have the uh, hex switch anymore. Yeah, Candle Pop almost gonna take it. Oh, oh. and there it is, there Storm it is. putting himself on the board. Yep. Now, what did Storm do differently this time around? Like, yes, he gave the respect, came in when he needed to. What other things were was Utah doing that were kind of wrong in that situation, and what was Storm doing right? See, I think Utah hasn't changed his game plan. He didn't change his game plan at all, and Storm finally caught on to it. Now, now, Utah is still sticking with Libre. We just saw him choose it again. He's looking at some different supports. I don't know if I agree with the Magneton, though. Lick okay. and Poplio. This is uh, pretty smart. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if he's going to be using Poplio with, with Libre. I can see the usage of that. Yeah, Utah's also, like, he keeps rushing. Yeah, because he, he feels like he needs to get in. Yeah, and see, that's just it. Storm, <laughs> like I said, game one, Storm didn't look like he was playing like himself. Mm -hmm. He looked like he was rushing, but he's calmed down. He's looked at how Utah's been playing. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Gets the shift. Gonna gain himself a little bit of synergy as well. That's pretty yeah. smart. And see, that's the other thing. Like, Storm's been playing a lot more of a, Ooh. I'm going to back off now. Tries to go for the grab. Kabam! Yeah. Well, we got Wild Charge coming out and uh, stunning down that grab. All right, Utah being super aggressive once again. Okay, catches him. <laughs> what yep. is that hitbox? Huge. Yeah, it's massive. Okay, that I feel like that should have hit. Yeah, it, he caught it right at the end. <gasps> so did he just high stand? Okay, he shielded. Okay, good stuff. He did high stance, but as long as you let go of your high stance, you shield. Right this away, might so. kill though. Yep. That's yep. That was really fast. Utah, so, yeah. Oh. yeah, Utah was playing fans a lot better there. Yeah, he, he did still stick with Poplio. He's actually um, choosing that over yeah. this time around. I think he's, smart. he's playing a little calmer now. I think that I think that loss finally made him calm down. <laughs> I gotta go full frontal. A nice um, punish. Gonna get the follow yep. up. No, no, he actually drops it. Ooh, Utah a, definitely looking like he had to practice his combos with Libre. Yeah, that was a really bad big boy, though. From it I was. Oh, just barely catches him. Those double debuffs are hurting really badly right now. Candle Pop going to secure a little bit of chip. At least he got rid of the uh, one debuff. So. Yeah, get rid of one, keep another. <laughs> it's better than both. Whoa. Oh! Okay, Storm definitely gonna have to burst here. Right. Ah, uh, that's not gonna catch. No, nope. it's just a little too late. He had, if he'd done it a second earlier, he would have caught. Oh, this, nope. He's gonna drop it. Yep. Gets that the catch. <gasps> Catches him once again. No, drops nope. it. Okay, burst coming out from Utah. 19 seconds left on the clock. 
Oh, Bull just barely catches, barely. but he sets himself up with Miss Magius. Oh my gosh, 12 seconds left on the clock. Storm needs to realize that Utah's trying to time him out. Well, he has no, he can't go in here. If he goes in, he has Libre. Three seconds left on the clock, two seconds, one second. And that's Damn. it. He was trying to chip him out. Yep. See, at, in that situation, he couldn't get in there because he still had burst. He yeah. had to respect burst. Yeah. I, I feel like even he, so, you had to go for an option. You were either going to win or you were going to lose. Yeah. And so in that moment, yes, you do want to get some chip off, 